Hello, welcome to an RPG. I'm Sovereign. Today we're back in Return to Moria and we're going to be doing a building episode. I'm going to start building out this area on the Elven workshop. So this underneath the Elven workshops, you basically just dig down. If you haven't seen where these locations are, I do have a video uh, previously where we actually found these locations. So make sure to check that out. I will leave a link to that in the comments down below. Remember to like the video if you do enjoy my content and throw some comments down if you'd like to see something a little bit different or if anything's going on that you'd like to see. But we're going to be just building our underground sanctuary base. Now, I do have an issue here. Now, this is a quick question. I don't know if you guys have tried to figure this out. I've placed a like, standing torch down along the wall and it won't let me delete it at all. I can't break it. I can't delete it. I can't get the angle of where to show that it is. And I can't put a floor there now because this bloody thing is here. If you know how to get rid of that, please let me know and I'll be able to like fix that. We're going to have to build around that during the ap actual episode itself. But we're going to go through and start building this out if we can get these flooring. We're going to place the flooring down all the way around the edges to try and get a base for the construction. And we're going to like sort of do a thing where we, for instance are going to start to overlap some of these bad boys as we're going around. So we can actually put these on kind of on top of each other. Is there a way we can get this just a little bit closer? We can get that in the edge there, but it's going to be kind of coming in a little bit. So we'll have to edge the wall in as we're building this around. Now we're going to place all of these as much as we can. I'm just going to fill in this floor real quick and then we'll get on to the next part. Now we've got a little bit of an issue here where it's actually just like vibrating and we're going to be placed down. So we're going to be filling in all the way into the floor as much as we can. But these standing torches, you can't place on top of them. Now I'll place them here just so we can like get a bit of a look to see if I can get uh, like to, so I can actually just see. I don't know why I literally just lost my words there. But so we can just actually see what's going on. Uh, let's just fill in. Now we're going to fill in the rest of this floor. I did break everything down and put them all in chests. So everything that we have in the base is in these chests right here. Everything. So I'll be able to put that on. Recreate a little vault room for that eventually. But I just want to get all of this done. Just, to, just so you guys know exactly what was going on there. I'm just going to place a little tiled hearth there to get this one out of the way. And I will have to move this stuff from these boxes into new boxes so we can get the flooring down. Now, when you're placing these floors down, you actually have to be really careful and make sure that they're on the same level as everything else. Because sometimes they'll just go a little bit lower as I was doing a second ago. And I can't butt this up against the wall here and I have no idea why. That's going to be somewhat annoying. All right, so we have our flooring down for the entire area that we want to currently build in. And we will expand as time goes on. I'm going to use this as an actual feature. I'm going to put like the memorial stone over there. And we're going to do a little pathway over to it eventually. I've got some ideas for what we're going to be doing down here. But now we need to kind of place the walls around the edge like we have over here. And just have it. I will put a couple more floor pieces down over here though. While we're going along. And just have this little bit of can we get oh we can get right up to that but it's just this bloody torch is in the fucking way that's gonna be really annoying really quickly so we're gonna start building the walls around the edges and we might run out of a bit of stone and but the the, the, the actual wall stuff is really finicky when trying to get around corners but we're gonna have to do a little bit of a trick Let's get this up as far as we can. And have... You see these corners? With these corners, we're going to do a little something. Uh, we, are we going to go we'll go just a little bit? Not too far. I'm not quite sure what we're going to use this little corner bit for, to be honest. But... Now, let's try and get this. Are you going to go in there for me? Or are you not going to go in there for me? You're not. Now, why wouldn't you do that? We can stick like a pillar in there to make that look clean. It's going to go around the edges as far as possible. Just so we can clear the rocky face so it looks more like we have something actually built really nicely. So we're just going to finish off putting the walls around the edges over here. I'm going to break that just in case there's a wee bit of light around the back. Now can we go a little bit closer? I think we can. And just if there's mm, that's too much that's too much sticking through i'm not okay with that why can't i break oh, I... there 
There we go. We have to get the right thing. It's kind of, it's getting like, um, there's some issues that are currently happening that I'm having problems with at least. I don't know if everyone's having the same issues I am, but we're going to put a doorway in here at least for the moment so we can know we can get through and there's a bit, an area behind it just to make sure we have a thing. Now this is going to be just like in the standard stone foundations. We can maybe have a little bit coming through, like a little, maybe it will add a little bit of depth to it. We will put another wall around there. So we're going to have to put another door over here so it goes out into that one. We will also put another door out here to show, just to show there's actually directions that we can build in later on. We're going to have it just a little bit over to the edge. Now there's going to be a wall there, so we might have to just break this one down real quick. Go in and build another door. So it does have the corners filled in. I think sometimes it does look good when you have a little bit of the wall coming through, like the rock face coming through. So it does look like it's actually been in there, but there is a little tiny gap that is going to wind me up. Something chronic. We're going to just stick that in there like that. And it adds a little bit of texture, I guess, to the walls. But what I wanted to do on these corners, there's a specific thing. We're going to get the, uh, nah, where is it? The pillar, where's the stone pillars? Tall stone columns. And we're going to stick those in the corners to give it a little bit of texture and shape. We're running low on the... I don't think we can get this to look... You can do it kind of on the outside, but you can't... Why can't I place those in there? It has to go on the end of the walls. Bearded mega brains. We need the sort of slightly bigger ones, but at least it's going to make it look like the corners aren't too bad on the bits that are sticking out, like here, for example. And we can kind of, let's see if we can get this pillar in here, like that. Just to fill in those little gaps. It's not going to look the best in the world. But it's going to look better than nothing at all. And what we'll do here, can I, can I actually, like, uh, do, with the camera height with G. It's not going to be able to go in there. We're going to have to build the walls around this last little section. Because our base is just going to be this area in here for the moment. Now we can split off these into rooms. Like I can put walls here with a doorway. Stick that in there. Um, what I will do actually right now is just finish off just around the edges. So we can get this all cased in. Now what I had to do over here is just put a little corner in. Where this, this uh, bloody torch is ruining everything that I'm uh, trying to build. What I did was just use the rock face here as a bit of a decoration. Uh, we do need to try and figure out what we're going to do with this staircase down. Maybe it will just be a ladder for the moment. Until we get some of the higher tier stuff. Now the what I would say while you are do, doing this and you're upgrading your base etc. Um, I would do this when you get to the Eras Granite level. Because we're going to have to break all this down and redo everything at some point. Just to get the older floors in there. I don't believe there is a way you can just replace items with other... Uh, like, replace the walls with other variants of the walls without actually breaking them down. Which can be slightly annoying, I guess, on a certain level. But we might be able to do it. I just haven't been able to see it yet. We're going to stick this one on the edge here. And then we are going to put a tall column in there. But at least we got a lot of this. Now we're going to be adding some... Um, where's the bloody thing gone? Have I run out of stone? There it is there. Uh, I just pressed the wrong button again. I'm going to go to the tall column. Stick that in a the corner there. And we're also going to stick another one. If it lets us. Can we... Stick that in a the corner there. And we're just having a door so you can see where there is to build outside. We can actually expand it. So I don't have to like break walls down just to see where we are. Now we are going to put some roofs in now. Uh, we have not got that much left. But we're going to sort of get this going across. So we can have it sort of filled in so it can look a little bit cleaner. But we do need to go grab us some more stone. Which won't be that difficult because the stone we got loads of stone down here. I'm going to put that across and try because it's in little squares. 
But we do need to grab a load more stone so we can actually... And then we'll put the torches in here, some lighting. We'll segregate it into rooms. This is going to be the main room with the hearth, etc. What I might do in this little corner is have a door here and put something inside of there. Maybe some hiding something or something like that. But I think it's starting to come along nicely. We'll see as we're going along. I'm going to go mine out a load more stone. Um, we do need to eat something. I do have mushrooms in here somewhere. But we will need to... We'll set up the, the main room first with the cooking area and stuff like that. We have This is like the main hall area. Uh, we will put some more walls in here uh, so we can have this doored off and have this as a big square room. It's gonna, it's gonna, I think it's going to look good by the end of it. I think it's really going to look good. Now be careful when you're actually mining out because you'll end up with things like this and you can't really get them sometimes. The, getting the angle on these bits that are enough because they won't let you place stuff in the way of these things. You can kind of see where there's the square reticule there and you can get rid of those but sometimes they can be really hard to find now in this underground area uh which i'll, show, I'll probably show you the entrance in a little while uh you get a lot of these areas but you gotta be careful because you can actually mine your way up through the floor in this area and it will be a way for goblins to get in here i'm having a bit of trouble getting some of these you can see let's see we need to find the rock bit and it's gonna you can't really get some of these angles. I've only noticed that recently in the last couple of patches. And the last patch that I can't... I was down here before. And I could mine all of this out. But it's starting to give me a little bit of trouble. Now, I, a way that I kind of got around this is to mine as close to the walls as possible. So if you just, like, have it and you see rock, you hit it as close as possible to that wall there. But sometimes you're just going to, like, it's just going to miss it out. Let's get this going and we'll get to the lower level. There's a bit of rock there. I just saw it. I just saw you pop up. There you no. Come on. As long as you get the little bit of rock that's there. There's some rock there. And we'll get that one out. It's really finicky sometimes. So you should like literally just mine as close as you see rock as possible. And it will grab everything around the area. That's still one of the easiest ways to do it. What's an episode without a mining song? One of the quickest ways that you actually can the best way to do when you're mining out an area when you want to get as much of the rock out as possible always work from the top down you see how i'm just like i mined up i jumped up and i'm mining up because it can be a nightmare to get the climbing framing stuff done so when you go from uh say if you go from the bottom you have to put up frames to make your little legs reach the area that you want to get to so it's definitely such a better idea just to work from your way up to way down just a little bit of a tip there for you. We might actually get a horde here soon. Which is going to be a little bit of a nightmare because they do actually break everything from upstairs. But we do have barriers around so they can't actually just get through and start smashing the wall straight away. So when it does pop up, we'll be okay. And it won't be an issue, but... I've already broken the orc town in this area, so it kind of annoys me that... It just... You have to go to a, a different floor to get that going again. Let's head inside. We do have enough on us right now. And you can see how it just always it just looks different now every time we have a little bit of a breakage in here we will do a different wall area i'm probably going to do this as the crafting area because it's got a much larger space and uh, we'll have to see as it goes or maybe just this is our treasure room our vault area because it's going to be away from prying eyes but we do need to start filling in the ceiling now and then we'll get on and put some torches up and see if that lighting is as good as the update said it was because i did have some change i did have like a look at some of the stuff that we had but it just didn't... There we go. That was just about to be in the wrong area. So we will try and cut across here as much as possible. I feel like that was going to be in the wrong area. But we're going to have... it so we have a little bit of clearance. For when we come down the ladder, for example. Now we still have... Got it. You can see where, like... When you're putting these ceilings up, 
sometimes they'll come across as red red means like the red here means that it will break in like seconds when it's completely the same color as the item that you're placing then it means that it will never break down that was a weird was a bit of a drop there right so we'll cut across that way and then clip it in place like that so it's all flat we need it flat they have it in squares i kind of don't like the the fact that you can only work on two axes but we're probably gonna have to put in some can you just work for me please that would be really nice sometimes this doesn't finish it but we're gonna just fill in the rest of this real quick and here we go that was in there there is a little bit of a gap which is going to probably annoy the crap out of me. So we're going to try and fill this in. There we go. Drums in the deep. They are coming. Right, we actually have a horde coming now. I need to find and dig out the tunnel. Go back to the base and we'll go to where the ladder is because there there is a horde. hole that might come through. Get, him. Get what? Are you going to be hitting up there? Come on, we need to climb up. Or are you going to be hitting downstairs? Are you going to be spawning in downstairs is the question. I think they're going to be coming up here. We do have a barrier around the edge. So they can... They're up here somewhere. Where are you guys? I can hear them. Are they running? Oh, there they are. I thought they were running downstairs. This one's not going to be too this bad. It's just going to be a standard one. Why are you just not hitting through? I'm having quite a lot of issues recently. I'm really not sure what's happening. When it comes to, uh, like, directional stuff, blocking. I haven't been able to dodge roll for a couple of days. The, the, the way that it just swings through certain enemies sometimes. I've just noticed a little bit of an issue recently. Not sure what's up. Maybe they know about it already. Maybe there's been a post that I haven't really seen. I haven't had as much time as I'd like to do certain things. <laughs> that is all you've Let's got. get rid of these guys. We need to kill. There's going to be a big guy soon. Hopefully they're going to run away. There's only, should only be a couple of these. What just fired an arrow at their own dude and killed him? Oh, we got bats now. They're going to... Lovely. We need those bat drop-ins so we can get our farm set up downstairs. That's what we'll do in one of the rooms. In one of the rooms, we'll set up a little farm so we can get our castle oats and stuff going. Come on. Because we do have a lot of bat drop-ins. People are saying that they actually broke the, uh, the amount of bat drop-ins you get. But I'm getting like bats on little low-level things like this. And it's actually okay. There, there we go. We finished it. Victory. Pick up the bat drop-ins if they're there. Yeah, they are. There's another bat. Come here. How did I just... I just broke stone with this sword or what? There's another bat. Come here, bat boy. I saw up. Monsters in the air. Hello. There we go. Bat droppings. Thank you. So I haven't had too much of a problem in getting bat droppings. It's actually been pretty pretty simple for me to grab it. So um, I can see how like maybe there's an issue if you're in a game already and there's no spawns going. Oh, God. We need to finish off this now. How much stone do we have? Only 200 on one, so it's going to give us 20 pieces. Let's try and finish some of this. Let's get our torch out. There we go, so we can actually see. And then we can start putting in... Because we are going to need more stone at some point. Why does that feel like that's not on the same level? Because it's not on the same level. We will fix that later. No idea, mate. Right, we are enclosed in now. It's not going to be the perfect... It's not perfect because we need to get to the next tier of thing. I just wanted to have the base looking a little bit better. Now we're going to go around. I'm going to start doing some decorating. We are going to put a couple of walls in here, though, because we do want to close off some of these areas. Can you go in there? Yeah, you can. Uh, we don't have much in the way of stone left. I might have to go and get some more again. Uh, but we will... Get this corner done in at least so we can have this area closed off or our cooking room uh how much stone do we don't have enough to fill in this bit man let's try and get this 
this one in. Can we fit the last couple of bits of wall? Can you do me a favor? Or we we can. At least this bit. So we got this bit out and we're gonna actually just get rid of that real quick. I'm hoping it's not gonna break everything because we didn't have the stuff on us. So we're gonna go in essentials and crafting tiled hearth. We're gonna put you in the back over here. Sort of in the middle, like there. I think that's in the middle. That looks like it's in the middle. Yeah, it does indeed. And then we're going to start putting in some of our wall torches. Sorry, I just hit the microphone. So we're going to try and get these guys. We've got wood scraps. Can we can we turn you around? Why can't I see you? We'll do it at, like, at a dwarf's height. Try and get this in. We're going to sort of lighten up the place a little bit so we can actually see what we're doing without just using the torch. To try and get them all at around about the same height so it does look decent. Turn it around the other way. Did eat a whole dragon. I doubt it. There is one in there though if you fancy eating it. You have to be careful when mining out you don't accidentally drop a hole in there because they will be able to like when you get hordes and patrols and stuff they will be able to just come through fall down into like your base in different directions it can be a bit of a night a bit of a nuisance sometimes but you have to just keep an eye on that area anyway we've got a little bit of something but we haven't got many decorations yet so we do need to actually what we needed to do here i added in all of this space so we're going to start building our sort of area where we have our uh different bits of like our different uh pallets and stuff for keeping all of our stuff nice and neat in an area uh we don't have any other some wood but we do have we do have some uh iron wood for some reason so we will scoot that over so we have space for the other some wood when we go in there uh we're gonna do a stone pallet over here an eras granite pallet Try and keep them all in the same direction. Uh, and we're going to have our holes and stuff over here. Uh, coals, ores, and etc. like that. So we're just going to... It's, it's not going to be the end of what we're going to be doing in here. There's going to be a lot more stuff as well. Uh, because we're going to be building out a lot more space. So I have a lot more space to put all the stuff that we have in this area. This is just to empty out the boxes that we've got in there. Uh, we need tin or pallet. Let's uh, put this in a different direction. Let's have this out a little bit over here. And we're going to have... Da, 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 what were we on? We were on... I think it was tin. What is that? Copper. We got to copper. We need salt ore. We need our tin or pallet. There's a lot of stuff that we have. And we're going to put some pallets here lined in the middle as well. The resin. You can have that. So we can have like a square's worth of space to walk around. I mean, you can just walk over the top of these things. It's not like you can't just do that. And then we can have our ingot pallets also going to be in the middle over here. In the, the direction that we need it to be. Uh, we will have some more over this side. I, it's going to be some rhyme and reason to this eventually. It's just for the moment, we haven't got that rhyme and reason yet. Because we need to upgrade all of the walls and stuff. This is just to have all of our stuff locked in place inside of here. And what we will do is actually stick down a treasure pile here. Just to have that in there. We can't. We have unlocked the treasure trove now. Can we place that one? No. We can if we break this down. So let's just break that one down. We should be able to place it now, actually. The treasure trove. Yeah, that should be enough. So we'll stick that there. So it gives it a little bit of a look. There's a pile of coins in the middle over there. Um, We do have a lot of iron ore. Where's the iron? There we go. But uh, we don't have much else right now. We will put some chests here in the middle, just lined up to have access to. This is going to be our room where we're having uh, all of our resources. Actually. Like, I mean, that should be pretty obvious, to be honest. We do have these chests here right now, just to have in here. But we will start putting down our farm in the other room. 
go into the other room and then stick our farm down. Get this one going because we did pick up a couple of sunstones. We're only going to need to put one in here, maybe two for the moment. So we will get our lamp. Which this is going to have much better lighting than any other lamp in the game. So we will actually just line our farm boxes up along the edge over here. So that's going to have some sun. We will put one here as well, cover up that little bit of space there. And then we will have... Oh, that's going to be slightly aggravating. I, don't, I can't have it not be in the right direction. I don't know why. Like, I just have an issue. Everything not lining up properly. Which, obviously, with the ceiling is a little bit hard to do right now until we have the uh, next tier. But I kind of have to deal with that because I don't have an option with this. I don't have to deal with that. Do we have light on all of these? We do indeed. Can I make a couple more? I can. Can we do it on the other side? Try and line this up properly. Bonk. And do another one here. And then we have... Oh god, I can't jump. Why can't we jump? Uh, have quite a decent amount over here. We'll stick one more over here. And have this as our little farm area. This one as well. This The light covers this entire area, man. That's pretty good. We have quite a lot of farm boxes over here. We're going to use that as our farm boxing area. Uh, we do need to put our crafters in this room for the moment until we can expand a little bit more. So we will put an oven over on this side next to the hearth. Oh. Which is going to unlock some of the stuff. We're going to have a roasting pit next to that. Just so it like can be in the same area. Uh, what else do we need? We have the meal table and stuff. We don't have the brew kettle because we need copper ingots. I don't know why. What do we use the copper ingots for? Uh, we will stick like the rune table over here, which is going to be nice. That just unlocked recently. We have that too up to give all of our things. We can have the workbench on this side of the bed. Just to have it around the edges for now, I will also put the repair smithy. We don't have enough room in the other room for this. So we put the repair smithy inside. I need to make space for a furnace. So we have the furnace. We haven't got much space in here right now. But we can put it like here. And then we'll put the forge next to that. Okay, that looks like it's going to be an area it should be. And we can stick a bellows just in a little spot over here next to the bed. This will just be the bedroom and tiled hearth area at some point. Like, it's not going to be that way. Ubersome wood. Why have we got no ubersome wood? Is it because I made... That's elven wood chest. Oh, it's because of these ones. So we can actually start taking... It. Let's take all of this and we can start placing all of that way. I'll be back momentarily. Right, so we have our full little base set. We've got all the pieces we need to continue on going. It does look a little bit better. I did find a little spot for this here, a memorial flame thing, which was in that corner that I wasn't really able to decide what I wanted to do with it. But we got it in there. We have our entire uh, a room here for all of our resources and stuff. It's like a weapon and some shield things up here so we can hang some stuff up as we're going. Uh, this one will expand a lot further out. We have two ways to expand this. We can go straight out this way and we can just build around this pillar and have like wall and armor pieces going around we can just build up and around all of these and turn this entire area into our resource room and we can build out and go further out into different areas for crafting etc uh, probably somewhere close to it there's one thing i forgot to place down which is really important for me as i am all the time traveling we will stick you over here and we will activate you or not activate you go into the map and we are going to change this one to the dwarven vault give me a name for our base here if it's in like the, if you want to do it in dwarven or anything we can do all of that just give me a name for what you think the actual base should be called uh, as we're going and progressing through in the next episode i am going to be looking for the eldritch blessing which is going to go up to the second level and try to find that it might be on a second or third level um, we don't have we didn't complete this area over here because it ended up being a little too high so we're gonna go up to the uh we're gonna do some sorry we're gonna go up here to the second level to find the um elder blessing and then we're gonna go down to the first deep and explore that and find hopefully i just picked up some stuff i shouldn't have picked up hopefully we find the next forge probably in the second deep 
Uh, we might find it in there because we have to go down the fourth deep and then third and fourth floors could be the mithril and the Durin's forge we're gonna have to check that when we're going through i want to thank you all for watching remember to like and sub for all your survival gaming goodness fly safe and avoid local chat scams